You know what? I like that you folks a question. If the 21st century church, the church of Laodicea, where well, we have the name it and claim it, grab it and blab it doctrine, big titles, fancy cars, our bishops with apostles and, and pastors and ministers falling from grace with sexual misconduct. And a lot of our televangelists, let's face it, a lot of churches, period, are not preaching the gospel that set men free or the love of God. But what they are preaching is a prosperity gospel that God does not preach, that God, that Jesus did not teach anything about. But I will say that God wants us prosperous, for it is God who gives us the power to get wealth, that he may establish his covenant in the earth. And we for one thing we have to, to assure ourselves that God loves us with all his heart. And he sent his son Jesus. For God, John 3.16 tells us that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whomsoever believes shall not perish, but shall have everlasting life. As we here in the 21st century, listen to some of these elders and pastors and people in the church. And, and I hate to say it, especially our TV personnel. Our, TV preachers. Time and time again, we see people that are walking away from the gospel. Where people are paying their, giving their light bill and gas bill. And in some cases, their mortgage notes. See, Jesus never said to do that. Folks, let me tell you, that's not what the love of God is about. The gospel means Good news. See, when Jesus went to Calvary, he loved you so much that he stretched out his arms and said, it is finished. Ooh. We are saved through Christ at Calvary by the grace of God. Grace through faith. God loves us. When we are sick, Jesus took stripes for us. He went to the cross for our sins that we may have eternal life with the Father. And it's not easy. I, I know it's not easy. But then again, you have to ask, a question, ask yourself a question. Is anything worthwhile easy? We have an adversary with Satan. Now, just then, I'm going to give you a few, just a little example of all the things that have been going on. We have a bug on YouTube. And just like that, all Almost all my videos, all my videos were wiped out and I felt like giving up, but the prayers of the righteous avail it much. So now I come back stronger than ever by the grace of God. So what I'm telling you is to be encouraged. God ain't through with you yet. God loves you. Stay in the word and pray. And remember, the fruit, the tree that bears good fruit, that's what you watch out for. Anytime you have a pastor or anybody, I don't care what the title is, if they're teaching you anything that Jesus or the apostles didn't teach, you don't walk, you run. You verify what they're saying by the word of God. You open your Bible and read. Remember, be encouraged. God bless you and never give up. Remember, be strong with the Lord.